Yo, what's going on, beautiful people? Riot's here playing Day of Dragons. I am just now hatching out of my freaking dragon egg. Oh my god, that's amazing. Now, of course, as I'm sure you guys- well, hold on. Now, of course, as I'm sure many of you guys saw in Anthony's video, this game is extremely early in development. Like, could not be more early in development, obviously. Like, there's literally just me playing with a few developers, except Anthony is gonna be dropping in here in a little bit. If you guys do want to support the game in any way, shape, or form, all the links down below, or all the links to support it will be in the description. I just wanted to get that all out there, out, out in the open, because a survival game where people can simulate and survive as dragons, the way they do as dinosaurs in the aisle, is like the most insane concept ever. I was supposed to cover this last week, but sadly enough, I blew off everything from Borderlands, but now we're here. I'm like a dragon noob for the most part. Wait, which ones are the ones with no front arms but walk with their wings? That's, um... I want to say Wyvern. Drake. Wyvern? Damn it. Oh, Wyvern. Wyvern. Drakes right. have no wings. I'm happy you guys call it Wyvern. Can't imagine how many arguments I've been in over Wyvern and Wyvern, man. Are, um, are baby dragons able to fly? No. I can see that. Their wings are- Oh yeah, like, because baby birds can't. It's so obvious now. I, I assume there's no audio. This is this early development, right? I'm not just, like, yeah. crazy? Yeah, okay. that's correct. Okay. We're working on it. <laughs> oh yeah, I figured. Quick question though, this little bar on the bottom of my corner. I guess the white one's stamina, then the green one food. Oh, is that food, health, and water? Okay, yeah, yeah. F to fly. F to fly, all right. These mega jumps are freaking crazy too though. Now, I see this little oasis is probably like a placeholder for a, wow, this, this gliding and everything feels, feels so fluid already. Even just for a placeholder, this oasis looks really nice. This could easily be just what it looks like. And oh, okay, F, 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 F. Crap. <gasps> That swimming animation! Y'all just gonna hide that? <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ, that's horrifying! That's so cool the way they utilize their tail and wings when swimming too. Alright, so I muted myself for a second so I didn't annoy the developers by saying this this feels freaking incredible. I'm not gonna lie, it's like, hang on, how do you raise against spacebar? Because the game is so super early in development that like everything's still a placeholder, the dragons, the map, everything they just said, but it's it still feels really freaking fluid. I wonder how hype you could freaking go in this game. The developers said the servers are going to be able to hold up to 250 dragons if your server's able to hold that, which just sounds absolutely crazy. You can just imagine you and 250 or 249 of your closest freaking friends just getting together and forming a giant dragon army. And she said, oh my god, look at that dive bomb! That's so bad. I didn't even realize I needed a dragon simulator in my life. What's crazy is there's like a few coming out and they all look crazy. I gotta say, even though they said all these dragons and all these wyverns are placeholders, and there will be multiple species, not just wyverns, they still look freaking incredible. I don't think these devs realize the kind of creatures we're, we're used to dealing with in Ark Survival Evolved mods that just look straight, straight garbage. I feel like the flying is really nice, the turning, the diving, and the swimming so far are my most favorite freaking things. Although the running is fluid as hell too. A lot of this stuff is probably starting to get repetitive for you guys, but I'm freaking nerding out over here. This is so fun. Like, I love the aisle and everything, but sometimes you just need to expand past being a dinosaur, you know? And Ark doesn't even do dinosaurs anymore. They're on robots, so... Yeah, that's... That's so crazy. And especially this is all just a placeholder. That's nuts. Oh, Jesus! Look at the reflection hitting the water with dragons flying above. This is nuts, dude. <laughs> I'm probably annoying somebody by being repetitive, but it just feels so freaking nice. See you there when you're chilling, your head just pokes out of the water while your legs just calmly- while your legs and wings just keep you afloat? I like- I love when they- you can tell they cared about animations and such to give it somewhat of a realistic vibe. Oh, that's so cool. I like- I really nerd out over little details in animation, and the way it kind of sets its wing down first to put its body weight on that while the rest of it lays down is very special <laughs> and it curls its tail instinctively because that's how it would in the egg it, it's just all perfect all right so now i'm following these developers over in this direction not quite sure what's going on but i'm excited to see the kind of stuff that's in this admittedly i only saw like two minutes of anthomnia's video which has been on my sidebar all week good for him <laughs> okay. i just wanted to make sure i didn't like see anything you know i wanted it to be kind of a surprise what is this? She's calling it Pookie and she's saying it's Anthomnia's favorite thing and it appears to be moving. I'm excited, dude. I'm excited. We just want some loving. Just be careful. If you get too close, you will die. <laughs> nope, it's not been confirmed. 
That's so cool. I though. tried hugging him and I died. What are you talking about? Nonsense. So, I think that I'll was just, just Parrot that killed you. Yeah, I, I just like, <laughs> wait until people get close and slay them. What if it was just like the very top of a giant galactic monster? That'd be so weird. I'm pretty sure there's just a sexy body underneath it. <laughs> it's just something's far worse as genitals sticking out of the ground. That thing looks nuts. I take it this is how it's gonna look, right? This isn't a placeholder? This is a placeholder. This is a placeholder? You guys are crazy with your placeholders. So you, it's gonna look cooler than this? This already looks pretty terrifying. Yes, and he should have a butt. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> Thick and monsters. he actually react to you. Oh well, yeah, I imagine um, the like movements and such would be different in the final four. I just meant because it, it literally does look really good. Looks like moist. Looks very moist. Moist Pookie. God damn, it's huge! I've never thought of someone calling Pookie moist. <laughs> <laughs> he does look just great. saying. This is the first thing I thought of. It's like, wow, that death warp is moist. <gasps> oh damn it! Oh, you do just die! <laughs> Rip. It really- I you swear to God. You wrong. I pl <laughs> I've played every alien game there is, and that sucker looks like top quality. Y'all are crazy. Have you seen the, uh, the Redwood yet? Uh-uh. Oh, uh, you're gonna love it. Oh my <laughs> God, it looks so good. Dude, it's so sick. Like, it's amazing. I've just been, like, mesmerized over Pookie so far. This thing's crazy looking. I call it the butthole. It does look like a bit of a butthole, does it? I was yeah. thinking, you know what, I'm not going to say what I was thinking. Butthole, but <laughs> let's just leave it a butthole. <laughs> Whoa! You know, teleporting someone without consent is rape in California. Is it now? No, but it should be. This place well, is Well, then maybe beautiful. I shouldn't have ported you here, then. No, I'm just kidding. It's, it's, this place is gorgeous, and there's caves that go with it. My God. Now, will there be, um... I guess this is... This is a placeholder for- or is this actual- I don't know, every time I get amazed by something, you guys say it's a placeholder. Is this a placeholder? The whole map is one. This is a placeholder too? You guys are crazy! We'll probably use the same elements, but it won't be exactly this. Alright. This is pretty- this is pretty high quality stuff though. Like a cave in a snowy winter wonderland. Is this you, Ryan? I am everything and nothing, my boy. Also, I'm lost. Alright, Thanos. Are you the blue dragon? I'm, I'm the blue one. I don't want to be female. No offense or anything. How do you know if you're female? Uh, I'm, I'm the one, the silverish one right next to you. Wait. Females have oh. blunt horns while the males have horns. Wait, females I think have- I said that like three times in my video. Wait, females have blunt horns and males have regular horns? Yeah, like they're- I don't know, you're not here yet, are you? I'm- I'm right oh, here. Oh, check this one out. Wait, hang on a second. Are the horns- can the horns be different? The horns can be different! Holy crap, this guy has like, four horns! What?! Yeah, yeah this I guy have has, like, four, four horns. horns. This one has two and they're red? That's sick! And this one's curled horns! I'm the curled horned ones! Which is cool, because oh, I- Oh, this one right here, because I'm the blue one. I have giant curled horns tattooed on my chest. This is actually beautiful right here. That's actually pretty dope. And you're blue? Yep. Oh, you're the blue one? You're gorgeous. Yeah, blue eyes, white one. dragon yeah. over here. <laughs> See, the more I hear you talk about the game, the more faith I have in you and that butt ton of money you just got. Speaking of butts, that death worm is going to get a butt, and that's what I'm excited for. When do you promise me a butt? What do you mean? Now you, when do you promise the butt? You promise the butt. You cannot go back on the now butt. Now it's going to be a moist, no. pooky butt. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? What? A big, thick <laughs> death worm. I, I'm so. I wasn't here the whole time, so what are you guys talking about? Made Are you being serious? You're gonna give it a butt? <laughs> I was just a suggestion. Maybe he just, you know, Pokey is a little bit more thick. I so, would, I would thick say below more. the surface. Absolutely. I think it'd be a win. Are actually at twerking? Oh, yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> His attack is twerking. <laughs> Paralyzes you. Oh, you can you can trot and walk to uh, right if you press Z. Oh. I think it's Z. Is it Z or is it X? X. No, it's X. X. It's X, not Z. Ignore me. Oh, damn. Power walking. You start strutting around. It's pretty sick. I can't wait for, like, the fire breath and stuff. And if you Three. hold the right mouse button, you can and use A or B. You'll turn in place. Oh, damn. 
Wow, it's gonna make so combat it's so much really easier good. right there. Yeah, I know. You can also sneak by using the siege. You can't. What? I didn't know there was a sneak. What? <laughs> when did you guys put this? Was this in the whole time? I didn't know this yeah. existed. Yeah. That's downright yeah, sneaky. It. What the hell, man? Press. Can you really? How do you want to press the right? Press right and then press F. Oh, uh, Press the right button oh. and use F. Oh, that's so easy. Look at this all just walking backwards. <laughs> 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 Cue the Michael Jackson music. I want to so bad, but I don't want to get a lawsuit. Frigid. I want to so bad. <laughs> um, what kind of food would you be depending on in this game? Uh, meat, mostly. Got you. From like, I guess what I'm trying to say is, if I was like in here, what, I, what would I be eating? Are there gonna be like deer NPCs and such? Uh, there'll be creatures to eat. They won't be anything that you've seen on Earth. I mean, oh, they're, even better. It's gonna be like. All kinds of cool different stuff. Hell It'll yeah. kill you. Would we, we be able to like swoop Ooh. down and grab one with our talons and eat it in the air as we fly? <laughs> That'd be cool. That'd be cool. <laughs> That'd be sick, wouldn't it? Kind of like the Argentavis when they pick something up and yeah, pick, pick at it. Yeah, Mark, Mark didn't yeah. invent picking food up for birds though. But yes, just like yeah, that. Birds I think birds did that. that. Yeah, birds invented that. I invented and told birds. Yeah, <laughs> tell me about it. I said the horn thing like three times on that damn video. I didn't think it was gonna go viral. And <laughs> fucking every second comment, he said horns three times, three separate times in the video. Said horns. What if that's why I went viral? Just insane engagement. <laughs> I saw people claiming you had a horn fetish. Oof. I, I might. You know who cares? I'm so gonna keep that me. going. Oh, uh, I will say this, uh, Riot, for when you record, uh, when you uh, put this on YouTube. Uh, I think the n number one question we get asked is whether or not we're going to have four-legged dragons in the game because everybody sees these wyverns all the time and they say, how can you call it Day of Dragons when all you have is wyverns? And uh, we will definitely have four-legged dragons in the game. We'll have wyverns, we'll have drakes, um, you know, and probably other stuff too. But three have been confirmed so far, the dragon, the wyvern, and the drake. Hell yeah. I think I have 2,000 comments of saying it's it's wyvern, not dragon. Oh my god, yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. Wait, um, <laughs> now, would you be open-minded to considering some sort of serpent as a dragon? I'm just asking because I, I don't know, a giant, like, dragon-like serpent thing, even if it's the DLC thing I have to buy, I would just nerd out like I believe that would be crazy. I uh, believe they call it a worm. Yes, worms. <laughs> that doesn't sound as elegant, though, as dragon serpent. But I've, I've had people say that, uh, I saw people say that, um, well, it's, it doesn't get dark because dragons can see in the dark, and so that's as dark as it gets at night, and I'm thinking, uh, hmm, you know, maybe I can, like, keep it like this and, and then just say it's, like, automatic night vision, you know, where dragons, um, can see at night so it doesn't get pitch black dark. I don't know. I vote like, yes on you, that. You don't know how... You don't know how great that would be for an explanation <laughs> because, like, all of my videos were it's dark. It's like people turn on night vision, and I hate turning on night vision and having this crappy overlay come on. And it's just like, well, this sucks ass on YouTube. So, especially on Twitch, for some reason, things appear super dark on Twitch. Like, nighttime in Arc, you can't see a damn freaking thing. So, streaming night dark games is just the worst. Oh, I hate it. And then, like, have it so, like, any other thing that you play as, you know, like, you can actually see the true nighttime, but you don't have to mess with it with dragons because we're just. You know, we're we're superior. Dragons just have automatic night vision, so their their vision's so good at night. This is just as dark. You know, you're seeing through the eyes of a dragon. Maybe add like a, a little effect or something like that, so like it seems like you know it's automatically activating, so people actually see it triggering or something like that. Yeah, that'd be cool. You'd have to reduce oh, the I color. Oh, I see the reflection Oof. of the northern vision, lights. Um, oh yeah. Look at the fall. ice. Fly up in the air a little bit. You'll see it. That's so cool. Are you open to a donkey easter egg in any of these maps? Because donkeys and dragons get along famously. <laughs> Jock. <laughs> Just saying. Maybe make it a Kickstarter limit? <laughs> is this a Shrek reference? This is indeed a <laughs> Shrek reference. <laughs> as long as you do the sound effects. I would, I would be honored. <laughs> Just saying. Keep an open mind, you know. <laughs> You know, I probably could put that up as a 
uh, the next sh stretch goal is a donkey dragon. <laughs> God damn. Hey, there's oh. no donkey dragon before my bird dragon. Hey, there's my no bird, bird or donkey before my moose dragon. <laughs> yeah, I was about to ask about the moose dragon. This got really weird. <laughs> this did oh, get, this took a turn. Yeah, <laughs> I got questions now. Wait, what, a moose dragon? Which hey? moose is moose dragon. dragons? Uh, you haven't been in the chat very much, have you? Um, here's something that might be freaking crazy that might not be that much to implement. I'm not sure. I don't develop. But in places like the Redwoods, abilities to cling onto the side of a tree would be freaking nuts. I've had so many people uh, suggest that. Um, it's really? something that I would like to do um, at some point. One of those at but, some uh, point type things, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, so you, you basically you have to have... Uh, um, uh, you can't do it for all the trees. Um, you have to take a tree model and you have to put sockets on it. And, and that when you go to the tree, you know, you attach to the socket. So it would attach your dragon model to the tree, you know. Yeah. So it wouldn't actually work on every every tree. But I could see having like Some sort a of super, super giant redwood yeah. that people could actually attach to. Yeah. It's I, got, I got like a really detailed, tight schedule I got to keep. Uh, to hit release and then after release uh, you know there's polishing bug fixing and then I'll be adding new features and content to the game I got you yeah it's not detrimental to gameplay so it's not like on the first couple waves of content yeah it is cool and it's probably something I'm gonna do um, just probably probably not this year all right guys so as you can see here is the day of dragons kickstarter because obviously the game is super in development and everything in the game is dependent on how people support it there is still many things open for a lot of people too special dragons you get to unlock just by pledging little things too like just 18 bucks 30 bucks even just 35 or 50 and then of course it gets into even more big epic stuff i'm definitely gonna freaking pledge to this right after this because they were just saying some insane dragons that are gonna be unlocked when um when they reach certain goals, and honestly, this game looks like it's gonna be nuts, so I fully support it. Like, look at this one, $200 or more, dark, white, and bioluminescent dragon combo. That's freaking crazy. Bioluminescent dragon? It's not even that much, too. Like, obviously, that's a lot, but they need to expand this Kickstarter. Most Kickstarters have, like, till 500, 1,000, 10,000, just 200. It's limiting themselves because... People freaking love survival games as creatures. It's just a thing. So yeah, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys want me to follow this game as it develops. Thanks so much for coming out, and I'll see you next time. Peace!